head cases. Check out all our socials and also go to our merch store. We have a lot of cool stuff up there. The links are below. Please check it out and buy something for fuck's sake. We need the money, please. <laughs> Children of Bodom, a chapter called Children of Bodom. Final show in Helsinki, Isol 2019. That should be released. Uh, sometime in the week of January 15th, i.e. last week, most likely. Anyway. Oh, crap. You're going to have to help me out, like, pronunciations. Is it Evergrey? Yes. Like, Everlast, but Evergrey? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. From Dark Discoveries to Heartless Portraits. That just sounds like an awesome title. Oh, I love it. I like this. Um, oh boy. Okay. <sighs> Therion. Therion, thank you. Leviathan 3. And my brain automatically goes to Mastodon, dude. Just to let you know. Fair enough. All right. And I'm going to call it there. <laughs> I'm going to call it there. We already had a therapy <laughs> session. We don't necessarily need to go any further down the list. Are you okay, Al? <laughs> are, are you all right? Uh, you, you're in a safe space here. It's okay. You let it out. I'm here it's funny you. that it's called head PE, and I'm thinking, like, head physical education. And they're <laughs> detox suburban noise. So basically, they, they failed PE, is what I'm thinking. Okay. I don't know. Anyways, that, I'm not going to put that in there. I just had to say something was going, It's like head PE, so... Physical education, physical education of giving head? Who the fuck knows with this band? I swear to God. <clears throat> Anyways. It says detox. Yeah, we're going yeah, to leave that out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I I don't need sure the Cholo. I don't need the Cholos fucking chasing me down. So. I mean, like, let's be honest, Al. It's negative five degrees out there. If the Cholo somehow... Oh, no. Had, the Mexicans will not go out there. Like, come on, man. I mean, th- there's got to be a ceasefire when it comes to this type of weather. I'm pretty sure. Because they're... Uh, they're... I don't know. Whatever they use. They're fucking jalapeno poppers. They won't be able to shoot those. So... Jalapeno poppers are delicious, though. They are. Yeah. I was just thinking Mexicans. That's, uh, I don't know, whatever. You got to think of something else. Anyways. Yeah. All right. So we're looking at the shows that Voices in My Head and T-Star Photography are at. We look at, and also B-Pro, uh, we're looking at Hinder. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hinder at the Q&Z Expo. <laughs> on February 3rd I, I want to say it's no you know what Billy Gray is in that band and I swear to God I'm going to jump on him and make him say it live on our fucking podcast because I think it's innocent and unbroken but I'm going to say it wrong and it could be funny it's, but <clears throat> when we're going to like I think it's, a section where we're just going to like almost purposely mispronounce band names but I think it's getting to the point with like certain band names that we just read them and say it wrong and then call them out like, and then they just look at us like fucking retards. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, hey there, I don't know. Did, did you want me to put myself on the spot with like my interview that's uh, happening on the 19th? 18th. 18th? Yeah. And like with how I usually was like reading it and my brain couldn't <laughs> get around it. <laughs> but you're like you're like fucking uh einstein you know where he didn't get the toaster that's fine you're you're good i'm sorry alibis i really am <laughs> but dear god but my... he's so he's so used to saying my name that's the only reason why he fucked that up and then put the rest of your name there and yeah my brain for whatever reason said alibis and, like and then it could like have been Alibibis, and which is like, like Rob Schneider in, uh, what the fuck was it? Rob Schneider in uh, Click. Oh, yeah. Where he's like, Alibibi! 
Ella Bibi. Yeah, I didn't get that far. I did not go. I didn't butcher it that badly. It, I swear to God, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that clip in here. Oh my God! Oh, you're gonna put it in this one, or you're gonna put it in my interview? Oh, I'm gonna put it in this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, all right. Then oh, we have Blackstone man. Cherry coming up with uh, Saint Sony at the Rave on two twenty three. Which is kind of cool because uh, Saint Sony has been a close friend of uh, T Star, so mm-hmm. that'll be fun. And then we'll look at That's fests this. in the next. No, we'll look at fests in the next couple of weeks. I want to say oh, the okay. next month because some of these change. Uh, this is true. And most of them are. Me. Yeah, I, w- I want to say they're. We're looking at May and past, so uh, you know there's not going to be a a fucking fest in March. You know we're still looking at well, unless you're Puerto Rico or something. But you're heading to the rave in February. Oh, this metal fest. Fair enough. But it's May. Johnson. They should have put that earlier. They should have made that March. Well, I mean, like, that would work either way. I know, but it would have been better. It would have been cool to have, like, quote-unquote, a fest while it's cold out. You know what I mean? Oh, we're going to do a winter fest. I'll do you. Do you really they want should. To? They should. Shit, I'd do it in my backyard if there's bands that wanted to do it. I think you'll just, like, recoup your costs off of the Coke check alone. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Like, $30 a fucking coat. Yeah, thirty dollars a coat, and it's like freaking zero degrees out. It's going to be like I'd dude, have every to single person with a coat's going to go here. I'd I'd have to throw a bone to the church because we'd have to throw all that shit over there. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, we could use the church. I mean, they're totally fine with a metal fest in a Lutheran church. You know, probably, probably. No, nah. unless it was like doing the Catholic one, but I think you can do so in a Lutheran one. Oh, it was like the Black Dolly murder did that uh that one uh video that was fucking phenomenal. And yes. uh God, I can't think of the church though. I think it was in the East Coast. That was such a badass video too. Unfortunately, Tre- you know, Trevor passed away, but yep. that was a very very cool video. I'm glad I had him on too. It was uh that was pretty badass. Has Lamb of God performed at a church? I'm almost thinking oh my that God. they had to have. They that have. video, that uh, redneck... God damn it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is actually redneck. You're right. But that was at a party. Yeah, that redneck something. But when they looked the fucking thing up in uh, the yellow pages, and then he's singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yep. That was so fucking great. Yep. That's why I'm wondering, like, Oh Please my God! Tell me, this has happened before that Lamb of God actually played in an. They should have done. They should have done a prank. Lamb of God should have literally pulled like a Christian thing and fucking went into some like Joel Olstein fucking goddamn. Oh my God! Yeah, big ass you know theater yeah, where he's Joel like out there. That off. He, yeah, Joel Olstein's a con anyways because he's like a a profiteer on religion, which we're gonna get into that in a minute, but uh. Ooh, ooh, we're but, doing that. But yeah, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, if they were to show up to there, oh my God, that would be so fucking awesome. It, it should be a double prank. So you got Lamb of God performing at like Joel Oldstein's church. But instead, right. they like come out and say like, yeah, we're sorry for or the mix up. We couldn't get all the members from Lamb of God. Instead, uh, may I present to you, burn the priest. And then just oh go Oh my out God, something. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, that'd be that. So, the that next, uh, the next thing that I found was uh, there was a bunch of bands that were snubbed at the twenty twenty four Grammy nominations. Is it horrible that rock, like... rock and metal, which well, kind of yeah. sucked because, like, it's I, I mean, I that gets hit. Yeah, which I, I mean, you know, Metallica gets something. I know Seven Dust did. We did something with um, the Music Cares thing back in uh, 2014. 
uh, which is really cool. Uh, but it it just goes to show that like the music industry only favors the soft or the uh, the marketable people, where rock and metal actually, if you look historically, even looking at like some uh, car commercials, they use rock. Or yep. you look yep. at, or you look at some TV shows that they, you know, go back and um, do some nostalgia. It's rock. Yep. Or it's metal. You know, I've heard Twisted Sister. Um, we're not going to oh, take yeah. it on so many goddamn different TV shows. I was blown away by it. I'm like, that's oh, come metal. On, the noise. D. Snyder should be making a shit. I hope he's making a shit ton on it. I hope. But what so I'm too. getting at though is, yeah, what I'm getting at though is like. All this bullshit that's coming out, pop or whatever on the Grammys, I think it's being pushed to a um like a kitten fur. Like they don't wanna they don't want to upset anybody because of rock or um metal because it's too harsh for certain people. And it's yeah, I, I almost wanna like Hang on. Uh, when we say like too harsh, so is the harshness in the tone of the music itself? When we're talking harsh, no, it's the lyrics a lot of times too. Right, but here we go with the which I mean here, all rock right, versus rap. How often do I like your rap r- lyrics a lot? Oh my god, rock lyrics. <laughs> but why is it okay for like uh, you know? somebody falling apart on stage at a Super Bowl, they should have had maybe Metallica there or, um, I don't know, whoever, where they would keep their shit together and not be sexual about it. Just be like, you know what? I'm going to play this song, drive it. We're going to get out of here and everybody's going to be happy. Were you re- Wait, were you referencing the Janet Jackson thing? No, it could be anything. Beyonce oh, okay. was up there. I, I mean, there's like, so we're many different we're things. About here. No, I mean, it just, it falls. And what sucks is like even the Foo Fighters, they've been yeah. turned down a certain amount of times too. And uh, they should be the ones playing. They should be there every fucking year, to be honest with you. And I would, um, I would say a couple of years, but not necessarily oversaturate the market with them though. Right. You know what I mean though? It's better yeah. than like, what's going on normally and same with the grammys same with i mean shit even highly suspect they did uh yeah underrated they did a song yeah and they were thrown to the side at the grammys to do a song at a place where like minimal people were there and it was like like an after party almost Mm. and it was one of their best songs and uh, that's the kind of shit that is going on in the industry, which really sucks because there's so many bands out there. I know they called out uh, Avenged Sevenfold. Yep, they did. Yeah, there's so many bands. I went through this list and uh, I mean, crap. They just. Um, ooh, ooh, do we. Do we want to dive into it? Because one of the things I saw is uh, falling in reverse. Watch the world burn. Do we want to? Yes, uh, I saw that too. Yeah, yeah. Knowing, uh, knowing certain feelings in the cosmos of how people feel about Ronnie Racky. Do we want That's to kind so of? Uh... It, it, um, here's my thing: is go pick somebody else out that historically is, that's been on the Grammys or. Uh, any of those stupid awards guaranteed guaranteed there's something controversial about those people oh tons tons definitely which it, well, it's not I'm fair guessing, to you, you do bring up a good point i should actually focus it more on the music not necessarily on the artist but everybody else does there's though no that's the problem um, <laughs> no 100% you're right it it hundred percent. There's, you know, we're so um, enticed by what somebody says on Twitter or uh, 
on social media or whatever and they they're like oh wow so he said this so we're not going to have them on the grammys or we're not going to have them here or there well right. you know what their music still is music who gives a shit about their viewpoints i mean if if that was the case then trapped would yeah. have zero fucking followers and they'd have nothing on a show i think because I mean, chris is a like, motherfucker you know i think they're at two and a half that uh yeah 2500 followers so i mean he's he's gaining ground I again i guess hijack actually has more followers than trap not the brand, which is awesome but, uh, hell yeah <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. Throw that in there. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so my fake news is right. Like, he shut down all of his socials yep. and now he feels trapped. Ah. Uh, you'll be here all week. Yep. I don't have any waiters or waitresses or anything to tip, so we're good. It's just send money, Venmo, hey. whatever. I'm fine. Yeah. You, you can tip us. You can follow, like, just, subscribe. and But just yeah. the tip. And, and, and just the tips. But, yeah. yes, follow, like, subscribe, and tips. Voices in my head. Bill likes all of it. Bill likes all of it. We'll just take the tip. <laughs> we can just say saying. that only because Bill's not here right now. No, I'll say it in front of him. Shit, I don't care. Okay. We still got a beer competition. All right. Yeah, that pussy gave up. <laughs> I, 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 no, I'm not giving up. 414 is not going down like that. Oh, hey, throw me a 50, you'll win. Do I win right, honorably? Fine. Do I win by bribery? Hmm. Honor <laughs> bribes. Honor bribes. I'm always like, I kind of want to just do it just for the hell of it and be like, yeah, just go to secure the win here. I'm going to, I'm going to edit this. You're winning. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not editing it, but that would be funny to put it up there anyways. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) There's a cut scene like Al lied. (laughs) Right. I'll be like, I did not take a bribe. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. There's no yes. blue dresses around here. I mean, my I have normal hair. I'm, it's not swept over. I'm not a politician, so I don't take bribes. All right. Who? One of you, 85 subscribers on our YouTube channel. One of you guys has to be like a meme lord. So in this beer competition, I just want. All the memes of like either Al saying that he didn't and take a bribe, I don't know, me saying I am not a crook or something like that. H- I that am guy. not a have crook. That. Yes, I am not a crook. <laughs> Just but now we're going like back to Nixon, so you're like out of your age range. I- I'm a time traveler, Al. I I, I-, right. I know stuff. I got it's like abilities. Nixon meets Obama. Yeah, I had to prevent that. That, that created <laughs> a whole paradox. That that wasn't good, dude. You, you're lucky you and I are in this timeline. I've still got to figure out the reason why Miles and myself are occupying the same timeline. Yeah, that still fucks me up. I Same, same. Uh, one of us screwed up somehow. Or maybe yeah, I there was there was a sperm dropped on the floor somewhere. Yeah, or... Well, both of our dads have some stories to tell us something here. I was going to say, some mother was, like, butt scooting across the floor. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, the 80s were a wild time, but god damn. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Holy All right, so. <laughs> Miles, I am so sorry. I don't. We... That probably does, isn't going into the, the podcast. So. One of us either needs, like, I don't know. Therapy? Well, yes. 23 I was actually going to go that route. Some, well, we need funding for the therapy. So, hence the whole entire follow, like, subscribe, and tips. Because in this asylum, all of us need a little bit of help. Some more than others. This is what happens. 
Yes. All right. So my next topic, which is the last topic, and it's been kind of a thing that's been floating around. It's a uh, political metal and religious metal, which I mean, what's funny oh, is I, right, I'm into this. I know. So here's my Ugh. thought is uh, the religious metal kind of fucks me up because if you look back, you look back at um, let's let's pick it Christianity. Okay. They were all against um, you know pornography and stuff like that, and you know yep. metal rock. They're all against all this stuff. You listen to metal, you're going to hell. The Satan exactly. Hell, so then all that. of a sudden there was Christian metal and Christian rock, right? Yes, because it's a way to reach the youths who would go in that. Route. I wonder. I wonder. If that was the progression for the Catholic religion with altar boys. No, that was way before then. Well, I'm just like, saying. I'm just way saying. Like before then. Like we're, we're talking you see about the Spanish Inquisition way before then. But I'm thinking like Christian rock and then Christian porn. <laughs> the first the first episode would be like Oh god no. Kneel, kneel down, my son. Oh god. We are not I mean, going come on. into your history. <laughs> no, but now I'm thinking about the political side. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. You're, you're, you're looking at, like, political music, which, I mean, you 2 did it. They they kind of, yeah. like, had their message or whatever. People Kid got Rock up live it. and stuff like that. Yeah, Kid Rock. I'm just thinking, like, fuck, what if we have, like, Donald Trump doing a fucking you know, a cameo on uh, Limp Bizkit or something like that. I, I don't know. Ooh. That'd be fucking weird. Fred but, I mean, you can't you can't say Biden. Video. He'll forget to do whatever the fuck he's supposed to do. Hang and on, he'll forget his on. lyrics, wait, wait, wait. so they'll have to teleprompter in front of him, and he'll forget how to read that. But In the whole entire cosmos of music videos out there, is Stormy Daniels featured in any of them? Oh, my God. Yes. There we go. We're gonna re we're gonna reunion. Oh Jesus Christ! Rule thirty four. You. Oh, now you're one. talking about the religious part of it again. <laughs> I'm just thinking rule thirty four is gonna owe me like so much fucking money just from that whole entire suggestion, and then I'm gonna use that money for therapy afterwards for suggesting it in the first place. Exactly. You're contacting yep. them right now, aren't you? I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, well, no, I mean, if you, if, if you look at uh, my name is Mud. if you look at the nuclear power trio Ooh, that I yes. sent earlier. And dude, those guys are awesome. They are. I could not believe what they did as a video. I was crying laughing at about 3 a.m. last night when I saw it. <laughs> and I know it's a little older, but holy shit. Between like Kim Jong Il or whatever the fuck that goddamn oh, Kim Jong Un, I think. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah that slanty had fucking cunt. Anyways, yeah, there's uh, Il, there's Un and there's yeah, other vowel out there. I know that's that that's that. Um, I think that's a plate that I bought when I was at that restaurant. That un? Il um um, yeah, Il I think it's like uh, <laughs> yeah, it's almost like kimchi. You know, <laughs> but no, Dude. they had him, and then they had Putin and fucking Trump up there. Yep. And then they had a bionic fucking Bin Laden. Yes. I almost lost my shit seeing those fucking I that love videos these guys because of the stuff they do. Jesus Christ! Just, I, I, I'm so upset that I didn't catch this thing. earlier. They're just wicked musicians as well. So, I mean. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, that bass player is the bass player from Mudvayne. That's just the uh, way he plays. Right? I swear to God. Yeah, because. Yeah, I got to find out who that guitar, is. Putin's on bass and then Kim Jong-un's drumming, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Kim Jong-un dropping those bombs. And they're all smiling, except for fucking Putin, which, go figure. 
you're in Russia, you never smile. The Russians don't know how to smile. The smile is either they're up to something or... Except for Alex Terrell. Uh, apparently, he had to, um, he had to do a, uh, a message about him being a Nazi and homophobic. What? I don't... I, yeah, I'll put that in the fucking description on this. Uh, anti Nazi and homophobic, or yeah, like, anti. Sorry, okay, excuse me. I'm like, say that again. Wait a minute. No, he was he was like laughing about it though. Like people are calling him out as a Nazi and all this other shit, and uh, he's the he, furthest thing from a Nazi that I can think of. Yeah, because of some tattoo he had and all this other shit, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, who the fuck is looking over this guy that? detail to find dumb shit like that. Is it really a tattoo? I mean, like, I know the scar, and he has tattoos all over the place. So, I mean... Well, I like, know, I know. But something relates to Nazi somewhere. Really? And, uh, it's just so fucking stupid. You know, probably, like, I, people get a... Like, ogling Alex the Terrible with, like, a magnifying glass, like, oh, look at those definitions. Yeah, that that creeps me out. If somebody was doing that to me, I don't care who oh, it was oh, and who called it out. I'd be like, "You're fucking gross." Just look at all oh, the tattoos, like all the way through, and there's like, "Oh, wait, nope, Nazi, turn off, turn off." Yeah, yeah, that poor guy. I mean, yeah, he's got he's got such a crazy range. You know what? Speaking of which, Alex, please come on the show. I've the gator, asked before. The Gator Growl. Oh my god. I would love to hear that like as we're talking to him. Yep. Just uh, do it like in the middle of our conversation. I don't care what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> even if like your even if Alex's wife was giving childbirth, make that sound. Hold on. Uh, what you mean? <laughs> I was not <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> that would be I swear to God, that'd be so viral. Alex, please, if you have a girl that you're having a, oh. a kid with, do that sound. Please. Like, as the no, kid's I, coming out? I don't care. Like, 10 I'm minutes before, get... three seconds after, during, oh I, whatever. Fine. Whatever he feels comfortable with. That. <laughs> Maybe he... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The kid goes back in. He's like, fuck it. I don't want to be there. What the hell is that? Oh, my gosh. Heck, even oh, if he was to yeah. do that live while we were talking with him, I'll probably actually fall off with this chair. I'll be honest. Because oh, my God. Un humanistic sound that's you're just like, no sane, normal person can emulate that. No, I, I think I can when I have to fart. <laughs> if he actually explains it, I've like heard that, some fucking stuff come like, out of my ass. Like, dude, do you, you need drum text or you need pants text, apparently. No, I usually uh, duct tape toilet paper to my ass after that. Out. See, I called you a kid earlier, and now I have to revoke it and say, like, you know, there's these things called depends. Just no, but it, it depends, it though. And it, all right, so <laughs> my whole thing is, after you turn fifty, you go backwards. Oh God! You don't. You don't. You're not fifty one. You're not fifty two. You're 50, 49, 48. By the time you get to three or two, you're basically doing the same shit you did. Yeah, that would You're be shitting like your nice pants, you need people to help you, they're feeding you, all this other shit. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, you know, fuck the 70s, 80s, 90s. We're going backwards. Okay. So, ooh, wait. If we're going backwards then. So... Yeah, I'm 48 now. Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying no. that then basically like 30 years from now, instead of you being 80... You'll be in your 20s. Yes. So. But a very decrepit 20s. You said you were skateboarding at 16. So I'll still do it. I like, don't care if I break a leg. Yeah. So if it gets you to like 86 or something like that, that means you're back in your thrash skateboard heyday. Hell yeah. All right. We're going to put it. 
for all you normal people, it'll be 86. But for us, it's going to be, we're going to put Al back on a half pipe at 86 and see what happens here. Three EMTs, <laughs> a stretcher, and a body cast. Just make sure it's there. But we're also talking like X amount of years in the future, too. For all we know, you can like wreck yourself and there'll just be like one beam over you. And it's like, yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, wreck yourself or check yourself. I'm just doing the opposite of what they say. Half pipes and skateboards be bad for your health. Nah. <laughs> At a certain point, who cares anyways? Like, we did enough. I'm good. If Go I break things, you're good. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Man, what do I want to do when I'm 86? You're, oh, you're going to be 86th. Huh? Ah. You're going to be 86th? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, too late. I already passed 27. That offers off the table. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, shit. <clears throat> I, I have nothing left. That's okay. We covered a lot of things. We, co- we did. Brilliant. Some we things that I might not put in here. We covered the Grammys. We, we basically do like a recap. We covered the rock and religion and politics, which has been fucked up and will forever be fucked up. And uh, Nuclear Power Trio is awesome, for they have always been awesome and will continue to be awesome. The Grammys Hell continue yeah. to shit on us all metalheads and prod guys and rock guys and punk guys. Yep. That's okay. We always did it for the heart. We never did it for the hardware anyway. Exactly. So, LB. Ronti. And we are the voices in my head. And please listen, subscribe, like, and do whatever the hell you can do to Just promote us. Just the tip. Just the tips. Oh, tips. Because Sorry. There's multiple. Mul- multiple tips. Bill can handle them all. We're good. Yeah, he'll he'll take it all. Yep. But for our current subscribers, thank you. For our new subscribers, welcome. And what can we say? Keep on rocking, guys. <laughs>